Hi guys, readings of the day, myself Vijay Tavardhan and in this video lecture session I am going to show you a solution on projection of solids and an example problem is like this, a square pyramid 35 mm sides of base and 60 mm axis length rests on HP on one of its slant edges, draw the projections of the pyramid when the axis appears to be inclined to VP at 45 degree. So according to the given condition we have to construct the a rectangle using a command called as rectangle we have to construct a square so we'll make a continuous line with a 0.5 millimeter thick and the size of the square is 35 so enter the height and width as 35 and the angle is 45 because it is a slant edges resting so we have to start with the corner resting uh, square now the corner resting square has to be constructed after which using the line command one has to construct the diagonal as a dark line which is going to represent the slant edges and after which make use of a line command with the thickness of 0.13 one has to draw the projector till it touches the x y line and wherever we will get the apex position sorry axis position from the axis position we have to enter the height as 60 millimeter and complete the front view of a pyramid as a triangle like this with all the visible edges properly now this is how the front view of a pyramid which is going to be shown according to the given condition and then show that the height of the pyramid is 60 millimeter and the size of the uh, square as 35 millimeter then make use of a text command start naming the corners as a b c d and this will become o as well as o1 and in the same fashion here it is going to be named as a dash then b dash d dash b dash d dash and then o1 dash as well as c dash now the base is completed the apex position will be marked as o dash now after which it is saying that it is resting on one of its slant edges now for the slant edge we will take the oc so oc has to be inclined to so oc has to be on the hp because it is resting on one of its slant edges on hp so that one will select the front view then make a move command move with respect to the corner c dash and reposition the c dash appropriately on the x y line at convenient distance and then go for rotate command rotate in such a way that c dash is supposed to be on the x y line and o dash has to be shifted to the x y line like this because this is going to be the slant edge resting as per the given condition in the question and then make use of a line command and start drawing the projectors to complete the next stage top view now for which we are we are going to draw the projectors so a is going to be projected here and c is going to be projected here, here and b and d is going to be projected here and after doing these markings so now the angle is supposed to be logged as 0 degree for horizontal and 94 vertical then go for a text command start naming the corners this will become c this will become b this will become a and this will become d and this will be o1 and this is going to be o now according to this one has to complete the boundary line according to the rules of visibility so the boundary line will be starting from c to d then o then b and then back to c this is going to be the boundary line now when the observer is seeing this object from the top that is the pyramid from the top the base is nearer when compared to the apex hence the base edges must be visible so the base edges must be shown which are not in the boundary line also must be shown as visible edges now such of the longer edges or the slant edges which is passing partially or completely inside the visible base will become invisible that is oc is going to be invisible and then oa is going to be visible so now i am going to mark that oa as visible and then once i mark oa as invisible oa will overlap with the oc so hence only a to c will becomes invisible line and then make use of a line command with the thickness of 0.13 and a chain line format one has to construct the axis line from o1 to o like this and now one can say that the second stage is completed in all the aspects now one can say that the length of this 
axis line is getting reduced though so this is going to be the apparent length but the given angle is also apparent angle so one need not to construct the apparent angle so we'll go to a line command with the thickness of 0 0.13 and a continuous line we will draw an inclined line whose angle is supposed to be 45 degree from the xy line so we will set the angle as 45 degree now move this complete solid that is the top view using a move command with respect to the position O1 and O1 is supposed to be anywhere on the 45 degree line like this and then make use of a rotate command rotate in such a way that O1 will be there itself and O is going to be shifted on the 45 degree line now the rotation is completed and afterwards make use of a line command with the thickness of 0.13 start drawing the projectors from the respective corner so apex O is on the XY line itself and then B is at this height so we will project the B along with b we have o1 so we will project the o1 dash also and then we have d also and then a is at the topmost high so we will project the a to a and the remaining is c c will be projected till the x y line then make use of a text command start naming the corners so this corner will become a dash sorry this corner will become b dash and this corner will become a dash and this corner will become c dash and this is going to be d dash and this is going to be o 1 dash and the apex position o dash is on the x y line now according to the rules of visibility one has to complete the boundary for which it should be a continuous line and it must be a 0 0.5 mm thing so now join o dash to a dash as a boundary and then d dash then c dash then back to o dash is going to be the boundary now according to this um, uh, position the base is nearer to the observer compared to the apex hence base edges must be visible so c dash b dash and b dash to a dash is visible such of the slant edges either partially or completely passing through the visible base will become invisible and outside becomes invisible so according to this so o dash d dash is supposed to be joined as a invisible edges and however o dash d dash is passing outside the visible base hence it must be visible so this line is going to be joined as a visible line and after which the axis representation should be shown so we'll select the axis form uh, that is a chain line and it is going to be connected from o1 dash to o dash now one can say that the problem is completed in all aspects according to the given conditions and if you have any sort of doubts please feel free to contact me and also kindly share this video to all your first year engineering students and also subscribe to my youtube channel thanks for watching my video